Hey, hey, hey. Y'all sitting here looking at a box that's backwards because my label address is on the other side. But if you are new here to this channel, welcome. My name is LaShawn Terry. Uh, have a seat, look around, uh, click that subscriber button if you are not subscribed, and the notification bell so you'll know when I upload at some point. Uh, it ain't often, but I do. You could also, um, I just uploaded a, it was supposed to be a short of the Gucci vest that I just got, and also the video, if y'all could go get those a thumbs up. The video was kind of shitty, for lack of a better word. Um, I don't know, the front facing camera is not good on the Z Fold, and, um, I just didn't turn it around. It was late. We was out all day. Just go get a picture. The video a thumbs up channel. Anywho, let's get into this box right here. I was so waiting for this item to come out. My girl Mill Stepper hit me up and was like, Adidas dropped a raffle. Unfortunately, I missed the raffle. Um, she was ready to go for it for me, but I thought she was just letting me know that it was, um, I thought it was, she was just letting me know that, um, the raffle had started, but, um, yeah, so I was able to find them at another retail store out of Chicago that was selling them and I just got them today. So, uh, let's get into this box. Yeah, 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 yeah. me in my tone. You can't step to my throne. They ain't working like me. I did this on my own. You asking where we been, I don't know where to begin. All this dirt on my skin. I just music licensing reimagined. So I think some of y'all might already know what these are, but if you don't, as you can see, I got them from Nortree. I ordered from Nortree some years ago, a pair of off-white. It's been a while, but um, I Googled to see who else was selling this shoe, and they were one of the people that sell it, that was selling it, and they had my size left, which is a eight men's. This is the Sean Witherspoon Gazelle Indoor Sneaker in collegiate green white and gum this is the um what is this don't go on it i can't even think of the name um i may be able to think of the name later but let's just get into the uh, shoe so basically um this is what it looked like sean with a spoon let's see that's upside down Sean Witherspoon right there. The um, Sean Witherspoon Gazelle Indoor. The name is on the tip of my tongue and it's really bothering me. That um, is, I want to give y'all other than what the Adidas code name is for. But um, it's really bothering me now. I can't, let me come back and let me get the name of the shoe. Okay, so we are back. The Hemp. It is the Sean Witherspoon Hemp Gazelle Sneaker. Duh. So, he sends you a nice dust bag. It's like a, um, what you call this material? My mind is going blank, y'all. I'm so tired. But it's a really nice, like a gauze type of material thick heavy of this is the him and as the world shaped like a jelly bean so very nice um dust bag and let's get into this shoe okay here we go hopefully this box won't shake too much so this is the sean witherspoon hemp this material is made of hemp. That's why it's called that. Um, Y'all know I love a green sneaker. Very nice details in the stitching. 
that is on here. I so needed this shoe when I seen it. I like how they have the, he has the textured tongue. It reminds me of my Gucci um, Adidas uh, Gazelle collab, except that's a red tongue, but I do like this tongue. You have the cork insole right here with the Sean Witherspoon signature and the piece flower. You get to the back. You have, again, his signature emblem, Sean Witherspoon with the piece and the flower. And then you have the sign right here that says hemp because that's what the shoe is made of, the materials. I like how they have like a contrast right here. This shoe was, um, I don't know the thing, I think they were 160 and so you have like a semi-translucent uh, uh, sole right here, going around here. And it's just a really cool uh, sneaker. You got the Adidas logo, Adidas on the bottom. And then it came with a second pair of laces, which is this like, I don't want to say maroon. It's like a purplish maroon color and it's supposed to match this right here is not a complete, you know, exact on match, but hell, close enough. Um, I like that they did add in this lace. So I would probably do one lace this color and keep the other one white, you know. i wear it like that. I like to switch up my laces, but I do think this was a, a nice release. Um, well made uh, shoe. I do have, if, um, I do have his, uh, one he put out before this. Where is it? I have not worn it yet. And I don't know. Um, oh, there it goes up there. But you can go back and find that video as well. Uh, somewhere down the line, I do have a sneaker playlist. So just go look and you'll see the latest uh, Sean with the spoon before this one that I have but yeah I really do like this shoe y'all know I love green I like the gazelle um, look and so I have to get out of here because I'm mad busy today I had pies to do today I had two orders for a pie one, two a order for two pies um, that when I give y'all a close up of this shoe, I'm gonna tell y'all about my pies. I put out um, a menu that I was doing holiday pies, which was sweet potato pie, peach cobbler, pound cake. You know, this lady comes back who's had my desserts before and says, <clears throat> Could I get a banana cream pie and a pecan pie? <laughs> I've never done any one of those pies before, but of course, being the cook I am. You know, um, your girl got it done. So I did that today. Hopefully she likes it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she will. And then I got a last minute order for six uh, cheesecakes. Strawberry cheesecakes. So I knocked those out. Yesterday I had my first um, catering job with a small church group. They ordered. I did their Thanksgiving dinner. Which was two turkeys. Um... Roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, green beans, some rolls, and some coffee with my sweet cream um, creamer. And they texted me and was like, it was delicious. Whew! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and they look forward to working with me every month. For their meetings so yay so today is pies i go i finished those i gotta go pick up my turkey from this meat market i gotta go to return two things back to amazon and deliver my pies and deliver my uh cheesecake 
to their rightful owners. And then I'm back home for the night. I'm going to shower, get my bed, and tomorrow will be, will be a new day of all day Thanksgiving cooking. I will not be doing any Black Friday shopping. I went out and got my Black Friday shopping done, which was every year I buy me um, some new um, sheets and a comforter. And I look for a quilt with the matching uh, shams that I like. I went into Macy's because Macy's runs the best deals when it comes to anywhere from low-end sheets and stuff to very expensive sheets and quilts all day home bedding and things like that so last year um i did do a video on the um bed spread that i got that was a i, I want to say don't quote me on it but i want to say it was about a five to six hundred dollar regular price bed spread that i got for probably about a hundred dollars no more than about 120 dollars because it was on deep discount they was running a special online that was different than what they had in the store and so i went back to the store and i showed the lady the thing i said can y'all do it in the store or should i order it online she said i'll give it to you in the store and on top of that she said i'll give you some coupons too Child, god bless her and so I walked out and that is like the most comfortable bed spread. And they had them out for 65, 60 to 65% off. But all they had was full uh, queen, full and queen, I believe, left. And so I have a king bed. But I did go to one Macy's and it was just a hot mess in there. And I found some sheets that was uh 65 70 percent off they were 70 dollars they were per cow sheets they were 70 dollars uh regular price they came down to 35 dollars with tax and everything and so i walked out with those because a lot of the stuff that i was looking at they either did not have good reviews or they were just way more than i wanted to spend because i bought some expensive sheets and they wasn't all that expensive but hell they were like $80, $90 and they ripped and they weren't even a good one year old. So if I'm going to do that, I don't want to pay a whole lot of money, but I want them to be comfortable and at least last me for the year. And so I washed them. They held up in the wash. Some people were saying some of them sheets were, um, they put them in the wash and they ain't even last in the wash, honey. They were peeling really bad or they tore, tore up. <laughs> so these lasted through the wash for $35. So we're going to see. Um, they I saw a quilt. They did not have the king. And so I went to another Nordstrom's. I mean another Nordstrom. I went to another Macy's at a different mall. And they had a king. And so I got the king and the uh, shams to go with them. That was... Blah, 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 blah. I want to say... It was like two seventy regular price, but again, it was like sixty five percent off, and I got it for like ninety dollars. And then the the shams were um, twenty one dollars with the um, discount. One of them she had to pull off the the floor bed, and so she gave me an extra ten percent off. I think she should have gave me a fifty percent off, being that it was off their display bed. But I digress. Um, and so, yeah, that's all I wanted. So I want to tell y'all every year or when Macy's is running a big sales, I don't know, but I know for the week of the week before Thanksgiving, go, go to Macy's and you may be able to go depending on where you live and still find some good stuff, um, when it comes to bedding, but that's where I go every year. Um, I go and get me new bedding. Um, every year because they to me they run the best uh, prices they got the best prices and deals on their bedding and home home wares so yeah now that i talked to y'all for 10 minutes and i need to get dressed so i could get up out of here and i'll be in this meat market all day and half the night fighting people to get my turkey we're gonna get up out of here and with that being said 
I hope everybody have a great, great Thanksgiving. Um, if y'all going out there Black Friday shopping, have your pistol on you. Um, and just be safe because child people out here cutting up. Make it back home to your family. Or just shop online. I got adult kids except for my 17-year-old and they all get money. So I ain't going back out there. I ain't doing no Christmas shopping. I don't feel like being father with them folks. They get they get cash into their bank account Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and shoot, I have a 28 year old and a soon to be in two weeks, um, 26 uh, year old. They may get a card <laughs> with they grown but Is you freaking? Oh, I was about to say, is this thing not recording? Okay, let me get up out of here, y'all. Peace.